Hey, welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force and today I'm here with Kabi. So uh, he is the main designer of this build and I helped a little bit. So this here is the B-17 Flying Fortress Heavy Bomber used in World War II against the Germans and it was used by the United States Army Air Corps. This specific model is based on the B-17G Sally B. And I've gotten a lot of requests for this build. Here you can look at the side. Uh, this part here is asymmetrical with the machine gun sticking out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. I hope you guys enjoy the build. And let's get started on the tutorial. Alright, so we're going to be building one half of the craft at a time. So first off, let's grab some materials. Let's take out a green terracotta, black wool, smooth stone, light gray concrete, polished andesite, andesite a wall, dark oak fence gate, nether brick slab, nether brick stairs. And that's all we can fit for right now. So we are going to be building it like this, so I don't know. <laughs> the back's going to be uh, sort of flying up in there. If you do want it like tilted, you'll have to modify it. Or you can just make it flying. Alright, so first off, let's make the nose area. So that's going to be a nether brick block. And it is approximately five blocks above the ground. So one, two, three, four, five. And then at the fifth one, put our nether brick block. It's going to be the tip of the nose. Add in another brick slab on top. Behind it, another nether brick block. And a slab at the bottom. Underneath that, we'll add a dark oak fence gate facing towards the back. Open that up. Add in an andesite block here, and then two smooth stone blocks. Then two light gray concretes. Then we'll add in this green concrete, or green terracotta, 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we'll add in two light gray concretes. Then we'll make this upside down T shape of blue concrete. And we will add in black concrete on either side of it. In the front, we'll make a two by two of green terracotta. Then we'll move to um, the back. We'll add a stone brick stairs and then a stone brick slab. It's going to be upside down and another stairs facing towards the front. Then we will add in two more stone brick slabs. Add in a black wool for the wheel with a lever so it's connected like so. Then we'll add in uh, three iron trap doors. One, two, and three. Add in light gray concrete. It's going to line up where the wheel is. So we're going to make this go all the way to the end. And then we'll add in another two. Then we'll add in two stone brick slabs, a dark prismarine slab, and a dark oak fence gate. Open that up. Then we'll add in green terracotta right over here. Make it so it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add in three blocks long here. And then we'll add in um, another two on top. Then we'll make this part four blocks long. Then add two at the top. Add dark prismarine slab up there. Then we'll add in gray green terracotta all the way across the bottom section. And we can add in another two at the bottom here. Then we'll go over here and add in another brick block there. Strip wire hook behind it. And on top, there's going to be two mossy cobblestone walls. Then a nether brick slab here. And the rest of this tail section is going to be green terracotta. Then up here, we can add in spruce trap door. I'm going to close that up. I, I think it's a better idea, though, to use a warp trap door. So I'm going to change it up for that one. And then we'll add in this dark prismarine stairs like that in the front we'll add another brick slab another brick wall 
Dark oak trap door. Close it up. Another brick stairs. A black carpet. Another brick slab down here. And then a warp trap door. Then down over here, we'll add in two dark prismarine slabs. A warp trap door. And dark prismarine slab. And then we'll skip a block and add in a black concrete. With a nether brick stairs right behind it. Then on top, we'll add in a black stone pressure plate. And we'll move back to the front, add in a nether brick stairs facing the front. Two blocks long, green terracotta. A warp trap door on top with a daylight detector. We're going to make that blue. A dark prism rain slab, and then skip a block. Um, another brick block right there. I'm going to make that four blocks long. And green terracotta behind that all the way across to the back. And over here, we'll add in a lever facing towards the back. A black carpet and then a green carpet. So black and a green. A dark oak fence gate facing towards the front. Open that up. Another brick slab and then a dark prism rain slab. Then two warp trap doors. Then a black carpet. Then uh, another brick stairs facing towards the front. Then at the very tip of the nose, we can add in a dark oak button. And underneath, we'll add in a dark oak trap door. Next, we'll add in uh, this black wool. So it's going to go right where this first trap door is. So just go underneath, right down there, line up, black wool all the way to the front. Then we'll go back here and add in a black concrete diagonal from the other one. And a yellow terracotta in this nook. Then we'll also add in this green glass pane right above this slab. Let's see what else do we have here. And uh, yeah. We'll add in um, the details on the side now. So side, there's going to be another brick uh, block here, another brick slab, and another brick wall in this corner. Then behind here, we'll add in two facing each other dark prismarine stairs. And on top, we'll add dark prismarine stairs facing the front. Then we'll take out another brick stairs. Add one to the side facing the front, the other one facing outwards, and then a polished black stone slab. Then go to the side of this trap door here, add another two warp trap doors, and then a daylight detector. I'm going to make that blue. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine slab, then dark prismarine stairs facing outwards all the way across to the front. Then we'll go line it up with this lever and that black concrete. Add a dark prism marine stairs upside down, facing towards the front. Then we'll take out green terracotta. Would we'll go all the way across the side here. There. And then we'll add another two behind it. And then we'll add in a spruce button here, black stone button. Another spruce button lines up the black stone, and then an acacia button in the front. Top of here, we'll add in a green carpet and then two warp trap doors like that. And then we'll move to side, add in dark oak sign right over there. Then go back to the tail and line it up with that stairs, add in two oak buttons and a dark oak button. So that dark oak button's going to be Going all the way to the top, and then we'll add another two at the bottom. Add a dark oak sign to uh, the side of this um, slab, and then a black stone button to the side of that nether brick, and a spruce button above here, like that. 
Then we'll go underneath these warp trap doors, add in two blocks wide, oak slabs. Go to the back, add in uh, two green glass panes, mossy cobblestone wall, and then six blocks long of green terracotta. Then on top of here, we'll add in three warp trap doors. And we'll leave it at that for now. So next up, let's go underneath. Take out stone brick slab. Uh, nether brick uh, stairs and iron trap door as well as a stone button. So we'll add in a stone button underneath right after this iron trap door. Another stone button here, two iron trap doors, and then two back to back upside down nether brick stairs. Then we'll add in um, a line across the bottom with stone brick slabs. Right across like so. And then underneath here we'll add in a black stone button. Then to the side we'll add in and a site wall, two blocks like that, and then a light gray glass pane so that they're connected. Then we'll add in um, a birch fence gate and open that up like that. Then we'll go above here, add in a birch stairs facing towards the front, and then a dark prismarine stairs facing the front again, and then two upside down stairs facing each other. Then we'll go uh, right before this oak slab, add in a green terracotta, and this is going to extend all the way to the front area. Like that. Alright, so next we'll go to the back. Go underneath this, skip one, add two warp trap doors, dark prismarine slab, and then dark prismarine stairs upside down, and another one cornered. Then we'll add a yellow concrete, so add that right there with a warp button outside and then an oak slab on top. Then we'll add underneath two warp trap doors, stone brick um, slab, and then stone brick stairs upside down, and another one upside down so it's cornered and green terracotta like that. Then we'll go add an iron trap door here. I'm gonna make it two blocks wide like that. Go diagonally and we'll add another two. So next we're gonna make this section three blocks long. So one, two, three. Then we'll make it two by two. And we'll add in another two in the front like that. Okay, then on top of here, we'll add in a daylight detector right on top. We could change that to blue. Then we'll move back to the front and add in another two diagonally. And then add one inside like that. Then we'll add a lime terracotta on top and we'll extend this so it matches up with the other side. Then we'll fill in the inner part of this with stone brick slabs all the way across as such. Then take out dark prismarine stairs, add upside down here in the corner, the two stairs here, like that, and another stairs upside down facing towards the front. In front of this we'll add a dark oak fence gate, open that up, spruce sign next to it, and then two black concretes behind it. Then we'll add in um, green terracotta. We're going to make this four blocks long and two blocks wide. Like that. Then we'll add in a stone brick block. And that's going to add in, so it's like an L shape like that. And then we'll make a two by two here. And make a two by three here. Then we'll add in an L shape here. Go diagonally 
and add another two, and then extend this so it matches up with the rest. Then we'll add in a two by two right over here. Like that. Then we'll take out green terracotta, add in this hole here. Then we'll go to the back here, add a dark prismarine stairs here. Uh, another stairs uh, right to the side of this. Green terracotta here. Two more green terracottas. And then two dark prismarine stairs. One's going to be cornered. And we'll take out dark prismarine slab. And we'll add in two here. And then three inside here. Then we'll add in another two dark prismarine slabs here. Like that. And then we'll add in stone brick uh, slabs. We're going to add in three here. Iron trap door. Dark prismarine slab diagonally. Another one diagonally. And uh, we're going to make this one four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Add an iron trap door in this nook. And we will add... Um, well, we'll skip one block away from the edge, add an iron trap door here. And add three stone brick blocks here. And then stone brick slabs, uh, it's going to go all the way across this edge. Like that, and we'll fill in the middle area in with slabs. Alright, then we'll go back to the front. And we'll make an L shape of green terracotta here. Add three dark prismarine slabs and two dark oak signs. Add another dark oak sign back here. And then we'll add in three uh, green terracottas sticking out here with another brick wall at the tip. And we will add in another one of that. So it's going to be three here. Another brick wall at the tip. Then we'll go to the side of this and we will take out a green glass pane, mossy cobblestone wall, another brick slab. So then we're going to go to each engine, add in green glass pane, mossy cobblestone wall, green glass pane, and we'll do that on both sides of this. Same thing over here. And then we'll add in the bottom propellers, just the nether brick slabs like this. So that there's like two going down diagonally on both sides. Alright. So it should look like this. Alright, so after we have that, we'll add on top two blocks tall, nether brick fences. And we'll go underneath this engine, add in an iron trap door, and then three stone brick slabs, and another iron trap door. Go on the other engine, add iron trap door, stone brick slab, and then we'll add in a stone brick stairs facing upside down towards the back, stone brick slab, and then an iron trap door. And next we'll take out an andesite wall lever. So we'll add the andesite wall next to the stairs, and then a lever facing towards it. Then we'll make a um, dark oak fence gate here. We'll open that up. And then we'll add in the landing gear here with the wheel. Just make a 2x2 two two circle with nether brick stairs as such. Next we'll add in warp trap door right on top here. And we'll add in a sea pickle. I believe that's what it is. Top of this wall for all of them. Then we'll go back here, add in a warp trap door, two dark prismarine slabs, then two trap doors. Take out a green carpet, add one here in the back. Then we're going to make uh, two blocks wide here, and it's going to extend all the way to the front. And then we'll add in another two here, and then four trap doors. And then we'll make an L shape of trapdoors here. 
and we'll add in dark person marine slab and this is going to be one two four blocks along like that go in the front here add in um, these slabs all the way across to the back and then we'll add in um, three green carpets like that add dark person marine slabs behind the engine and we're going to make this part go all the way to the back like that then we'll make a line across here line across here and then we'll fill in this middle section in with slabs all the way across like that then we'll make an L shape of dark bridge mean slab here and then we're going to go diagonally up, add dark prismarine slab, and then add dark prismarine block, diagonally back. Another one diagonally, and we're going to make this three blocks long here. And then go diagonally back the other way, add a block here, and a slab to the side of it. Like that. Then we'll add in two blackstone slabs, diagonally back, blackstone slab, three blocks long. Then we'll go diagonally up blackstone slab and we'll add in black carpet above these blackstone slabs go diagonally inwards add add in a dark oak slab and two uh, dark prismarine slabs so right at the tip and then we'll make a two by two dark prismarine slab And we'll I make an L-shaped dark prismarine slab right there. Okay, so next we'll go down over here. And we'll add in three stone brick blocks here. Then we'll add in four stone brick blocks here. And then two stone brick blocks. Then we'll add a stone brick slab here. And another one on the other side. And then we'll add in... Uh, let's say three here. Then two stone brick slabs here. Skip this block here and then add in three. Then we'll add iron trap door so that they will be on all three, all three sides here. And then we'll add in um, a smooth quartz slab. And that will be right in this little gap there then we'll add a uh, dark prismarine slab we're going to make a line across all the way like that and we'll add in another two slabs right there in the back next we'll go on top add a white carpet in the middle on top of that quartz slab and we'll add in blue carpet on all four sides next we'll take out green carpet and we're going to cover up all the parts that are not green that are exposed on top. Like that. Next, we'll move on to the tail. So you see this part with the trap doors. Just take out dark prismarine stairs. I'm going to add a row of three. Dark prismarine slab in the front and in the back. Add in nether brick slab here. Dangly back and add in two. I'm going to go dangly up and add in one. Then add two dark prismarine slabs. And we'll go back here and add dark prismarine slabs. So it goes all the way to the back. And then add another column here. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine block, a solid one. Right behind, I'm going to make it two by two. That. Add in another block here. The stairs facing the front and another stairs facing outwards. Side that at dark prismine slab here. Then we'll make a two by two right at this very tip. Like that. Then we'll add dark prismine stairs so it's on the side of that. Upside down one here. And then two slabs. And then go on top, add an add in black carpet. So add two here. And then another one diagonally like that. Then we'll add in green carpet, 
right above the slime, and it's going to go all the way to the back, like that. So next we'll go down here and add a stone bun to the side of that wheel. Go back up in the middle of this T, we'll add in a smooth quartz slab, and dark prismine slab at the top. All right, so I think that's pretty much it, what we're going to do for uh, this side of the aircraft. Now I'm going to flip it off and uh, build the other half. All right, so once you have both sides, it looks very nice. Now all we have to do is the asymmetrical details. So let's go to this side of the craft. We'll add a dark prismarine stairs facing the front. A green terracotta here. Yellow concrete. Warp bun to the side of it. And then on the top of this, we'll add warp trap door and uh, green terracotta here and then uh, right in this section there's going to be an oak stairs upside down and we'll add a chain block to the side of that trap door down top we'll cover this up with green carpet next we'll move up to the other side on this side we'll add green terracotta here at the bottom Warp trap door, chain block sticking up, and uh, back here, green terracotta, a yellow concrete with a warp button to the side of it, an upside down oak stairs facing the back, and a right side up, dark prismarine stairs facing the back. Then on top, we'll cover that up with green carpet, like that. Next, we'll go in the front where the nose is and add a warp trap door, jungle slab, and an oak stairs facing the front. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Trap door, jungle slab, oak stairs. And on this side, we'll fill the rest in with dark prismarine stairs. While the other side, we'll add in these two birch stairs and then a red nether brick stairs like that next we'll go to this side and we'll have to change this color here that's what makes it the sally b is this black and white stripe here so we'll change this to yellow concrete we'll replace the trap door at the bottom and the top with dark oak and add a black glass to the side of it both sides like that so yeah that's pretty much it on how to build the b17 flying fortress heavy bomber in minecraft and thanks to kabi for the original design if you guys do enjoy this video remember hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already and i'll see you guys in the next one